Welcome to my channel, I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE NXT 8th of August 2023. We kick off the show with Axiom versus Mustafa Ali. Uh, after a very hard fought battle, Mustafa Ali managed to pick up the victory with the 450 splash. I would say this was actually a pretty solid opener. I'd give this a fair 3.25 out of 5. Uh, Axiom looks pretty strong here. Uh, then we go to our second match. Belair, Davenport taking on Kal uh, Kalani jo uh, Jordan. Uh, Belair managed to pick up the victory. Two and a half. It was a fairly average match. Uh, Dana Brooke attacks Bl uh, Davenport after the match. And then uh, yelled at her for trying to stop her. Uh, then we go to Noam Dar versus Tyler Bate for the Heritage Cup. Even though it's not the real Heritage Cup. Uh, Tyler Bate managed to win in the end, claiming the prize. I'd give the match a fair 3 out of 5. Uh, the schism uh, rolls up and. Ask about the creed to the family. I don't know if they are. They're just running up to random people at the moment. Uh, Dragunov had did an interview by stage talking about how he's going to take care of business. Six out of ten, not too bad. Um, Uh, we had a little uh, thing between Trick Williams and Dragunov. Uh, Dragunov accepts the challenge that they're going to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I said his crew will die a heat wave. Uh, then Briggs and Jensen set up a match against uh, Drew Gulak and Charlie Dempsey. Uh, after that, Rey Mysterio was talking to a few people, talked to Roxanne Perez, uh, Thea Hale came in. Uh, she snapped at Andrew Chase, saying Rey wouldn't have thrown in the towel. Very bitter still. Give all of the whole Rey Mysterio in the back pretty good. Uh, give it a seven. Uh, then we had Braun Breaker versus Von Wagner. Breaker won with a uh, big boot off the ropes. Uh, after the match, Breaker gets put through the table. I uh, give the match a two and a half. Going through the table list six. Uh, then we get to see... Uh, Briggs and Jensen... Take on Charlie Dempsey and Drew Gulak. Uh, Dempsey and Gulak pick up the victory. I give it a 2.75 out of 5. Uh, then we got Ivy Nile uh, versus Katana James. Katana James managed to pick up the victory. Which was quite interesting. We then got to see Angel Garza and Huberto uh, texting each other about the troubles they're going through and their grandfather. I'd give this a fair eight. It was a really good promo. Uh, like a little video package thing. Uh, then we got to see Tyler Bate with the Heritage Cup. Noam Dar's begging for it back. Uh, ended up with Nation Frazier agreeing to give Noam Dar a title match at Heatwave to like you know basically unify them. Uh, after that we go to our main event of the evening, Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio. Uh, Dominic tried to use the belt to hit uh, Dragon Lee, but Ray stopped it. Referee's distracted. Rhea na nails uh, Dragon in the back of the head with her belt. One, two, three, retained. After the match, Live Valkyrie attacked Rhea Ripley. Uh, overall, I'd give this show a 5 out of 10. It was average, it didn't do much. Fantastic, in my opinion. I enjoyed it. Oh, the Dragon League Rome Share match, I'd give it three. Uh, yeah, it was a fairly average episode of NXT.
Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, please make sure you smash that like button, share, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, joyous feeling.